Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to show you how to apply the kinetic chain into your forehand. I'm going to show you why it's a problem for so many players, and I've got a great solution for that problem. Now, almost everybody watching this video will know that to, to make a pro-style forehand, to make this sort of effortless power that we're really seeking, we need to relax the upper body, and we need to load from the lower body, and then lift and turn into the stroke. And the kinetic chain then is the body pushing the arm, which pulls the racket, and then the racket pulls the arm, which rotates the body. And it's great in theory, but so many people struggle to actually apply that into their stroke. So the strokes of nearly everybody watching this video will be racket, arm, body, and that's it. Whereas we're looking for body, arm, racket, racket, arm, body. Now, the reason it's so difficult for most players is the size of their take back. Now, I'm not saying that the take back should be very small. But if you have a large take back, then it's very easy for the momentum of your swing to actually overtake everything. And so a great way of actually achieving the kinetic chain is to drastically reduce the size of the take back on the forehand, feel the movement of the body, because now the momentum will not overtake the kinetic chain, and then go back to a larger take back once you've got the sequence. So look, instead of having a take back here, and swinging through and I can feel tremendous momentum in the racket then what I'm going to do is just swing from here and if I swing from here then I have almost no momentum in the stroke I'll do it from this side it'll be easier to see so normally back here and around and through but here I'm just going to make the smallest of take backs and there feels like no energy in the stroke because I'm not doing anything with my body and I don't have the momentum in the racket so now I'm going to add the body. So I'm just going to bend a little bit, turn a little bit, and turn the body first. Now, when I turn the body first, and again, turn the body first. And because I have no momentum in the racket, I can really start to feel the sequence of the body pulling the arm and the racket through. And now I'm just going to gently increase the size of the take back. So, but now body first. And again, and body first. And now I'm going to gently increase the size of the take back a little bit more. And because I went from this inert position with the racket and introduced the body, it's much easier now to feel the correct movement of my body first, arm, and then the racket. So if you try this back at home with a ball machine or a feeder, and just begin and by reducing or removing the take back of the racket. You'll remove the momentum of the racket and be left only with the feeling of whether you're pushing and turning your body. Remember, we want to go down into the ground and then push up from the ground and turn. And the body will swing the racket. By breaking it down in this way and then putting it back together, it takes minutes to get the feel of this. And the feeling of the stroke when it's done correctly is so amazing that you'll then want to reproduce it forever. So break down the stroke this way and then put it back together. And when you put it back together, you'll find that you start to have the wonderful sequence of movements that create effortless power in your forehand. I hope this makes sense. Let me know how it goes, please. And if you like my ideas, check out our books on Amazon. We've got books on every aspect of the game. And in the books, we break down the strokes into the science, the really detailed mechanics of the stroke. And then we give you super simple solutions such as this. They all have great illustrations and everything is designed to be a teaching process. Or for more personalized help, check out what I'm doing with online coaching. I'm helping players all over the world of all ages and all levels. For more information on this, check out the website or email me. So deconstruct your forehand and then put it back together again. Remove the backswing, feel the movement of the body, and then add the backswing a little bit at a time and a little bit at a time and you'll find that you have a fantastic and powerful forehand. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.